All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I greet all of you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I want to greet all the distinguished guests, distinguished Naga leaders, and also our very distinguished guests for today joining us all the way from uh, Australia, our Reverend Fred Nile. You are not a stranger to Nagaland. You are a friend and ambassador of the Nagas. And we want to greet you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Today, as we celebrate the seventh edition of the Kingdom Leaders Prayer Breakfast, an initiative, a kingdom initiative of the leaders arise Nagaland, our Reverend Apostle Lulihu Yimsong, and also in partnership with our Father's House Global Church here based in Nagaland in Dimapur. Shall we all look to God in prayer as I invoke the blessings of Yahweh upon this historic gathering that we are having all the way cut across various uh, geographical locations for the blessings and for the prosperity of our people and our land. Shall we all look to God in prayer? Heavenly Father, our most gracious, loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day that thou have blessed every one of us Father, we choose to declare the greatness and your sovereignty in such a time that we are moving forward, Almighty God. Father, we want to thank you for this seventh edition of our Kingdom Leaders Prayer Breakfast, an initiative of the Leaders Arise and the Father's House Global. Father, this is our heart that you will touch every single leader from the highest echelons of power down to the lowest rung of the ladder. Father, we pray for the peace. We pray for the prosperity. We pray for the hand of God. Oh, the blessings of God to our people and to our leaders. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day, Lord, that you have brought, oh, hallelujah, the parents and the grandparents, the blessings of the patriarchs this morning, God. Hallelujah. We declare your name on high, God. And we know, God, that when we pray today, God, there is going to be a shaking in the heavenly Somali, God. We know, God, that there's going to be breakthrough in our land, in our, in our people, Almighty God. Oh, even as we walk in the last seconds of the end times, as we wait to usher in the coming of Yeshua, our Lord, God, this is our prayer. That we will be, oh hallelujah, in the spirit of waiting God. Hallelujah. Proclaiming the name of Jesus to a broken and a dying world, God. You are the only solution to our people, Almighty God. Even as, Lord, today we cry out to you, God, we pray for the blessings of the paycheck. We pray for all the parents. We pray for all the grandparents of our land, God. Oh, hallelujah. Let there be a generational blessings of our land and over our people of God. Oh, as we celebrate this Christmas season, as we walk into this festive season, may we never forget the reason why we celebrate is because of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Oh, hallelujah. That rushed into this small little, oh, hilly area, God, called the Naga Hills, where you crushed and where you, oh, hallelujah, brought the light to our darkened world, Almighty God. Father, therefore, we pray for the blessings of God for all our leaders. At this time, Lord, we pray for the spirit of boldness, God. We pray we declare the healing virtue of Jesus upon every single home, every single church, and every individual, even the people gathered here live in this Google Meet. God, we thank you. Prayers have no distances. And Lord, we know that there will be a powerful anointing and a powerful uh, awakening, the rising in our people, Almighty God. Oh, hallelujah. Arise and shine, Nagaland, for your light has come. See, darkness covers the earth, and deep darkness is on the people. But then the Lord will rise, and his glory will be seen in you. 
for I pray in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Isa Almas, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. To do the honors of opening the seventh edition of Kingdom's Leader Prayer Breakfast in ushering the blessings and the Christmas greetings. Today we are grateful and so privileged to have with us our honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, Sri Dino Hipiwio, who will be bringing the blessings and the Christmas greetings. Team members of the Kingdom leaders, great breakfast, ladies and gentlemen, and brothers and sisters in Christ. It is always an honor to be associated with ministries like yours. academically, as well as spiritually, in various measures. Like Joshua, who led the Israelites to the Promised Land, and Queen Esther, in whose wisdom the Jews were saved from being annihilated. I would like to encourage everyone, especially the younger generations to live up to the standard the society expect them to do. And wherever you are, please, may you excel as leaders, ministers, administrators, physicians, entrepreneurs, or any other profession you may have chosen. Let us all be determined to rise above mediocrity, whether as a student or a professional, and let us all commit ourselves to stand for whatever is good and pleasing in the eye of the Lord. Pre-Christmas time is normally a period to prepare ourselves spiritually for the celebration of the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Christmas season may have different meanings for different people. Mother Teresa said, it is Christmas. Every time you let go, God love others through you. Yes, it is Christmas every time you smile at your brother and offer him your hand. And I think Christmas must be experienced in our hearts each and every day. In a way, Christmas is a state of mind and it should be present throughout the year to ensure that faith overcomes doubt, hope conquers despair, and love trumps over hate. The birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the fulfillment of the age-old prophecies and the reaffirmation of God's great love for all of us. It is a generous gift of our Heavenly Father and through His beloved Son. We all know that hope and compassion had 
entered our world. Therefore, while celebrating pre-Christmas, let us resolve to honor the spirit of Christmas and strive to keep it throughout the year. And let us pray that prudence, wisdom, and understanding might descend on all of us so that in the years ahead, we may fully realize the wonderful dream as told in the Holy Bible. Luke 2, 40. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace, those on whom his favor rests. With these few words, I extend my warmest greetings again and wish the kingdom leaders great success in all that you do. May God bless in all your endeavors. Thank you, sir, for sharing your blessings and warming our hearts with the timely Christmas greetings and message. I'm equally privileged to present the next distinguished participants for the seventh edition of Kingdom's Leaders Prayer Breakfast, who has become a household name in terms of ministry. I'm privileged to present and introduce Reverend Billy Suya, who holds an excellent academic educational background, one who has traveled extensively across the globe. We are privileged to have with us, with her uh, house this morning. She is 93 years old, joining us live today. I now give the time to Reverend Billy Sia, itinerant evangelist and intercessor for the blessings and for the Christmas greetings, which would be also followed by Suri Ino Shikuto Zalipu, who is the General Secretary, Naglen Gamburas Federation. He is also the chief of Shikuto Village, who would be uh, bringing the blessings and uh, sharing the Christmas greetings. I give now the time for them one after the other. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So love the world that he gave his son, who yielded his life our redemption to win, and opened their life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great things he had done. Father God, we thank you, we praise you for this day. We ask you to forgive our sins also. And wash them in the blood of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for thy son, Jesus. Help us, our people and Maga people to go around the nations and to proclaim the gospel as you have said go into all the world preach the gospel of every creature this son shall follow them that believe in my name the other cause of devils they will speak with you tongue help our people our Maga people to go out to the nations and proclaim the gospel and many souls we brought your kingdom. Enable us, that you are prosperous, oh Father God. We praise you, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for Robert Egan, for us house church. We thank you for Apostle Rodney Williamson, leaders arise, Magdalene. Prosper them. Help them and make their Christ increase to spread the gospel to the nations. We thank you, we praise you, we glorify your name. We ask and pray in Jesus' the holy, mighty name. Amen.
Let me pray. Hey, God of heaven and earth, creator and projector of our Naga people, I, Naga village chief, involve the spirit of prosperity in our land as we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. God of all generation, blaze our people, stretching from north to south, east to west. Lord, blaze our young generation with the wisdom of Solomon and uphold the principle of truth and faithfulness. Lord, make them pure and strong to lead our people with faith. God of the sun and the moon, let our soil produce powerful warriors and let us like thou. Lord, may our culture, custom, and tradition come for the humanity. May our land be filled with peace and unity as we celebrate the birth of our Christ Savior. We cast away the spirit of disunity and death and let long lives prevail forever. God of all generation, in the name of our Father Jehovah, I pray that you will bless us all. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you for your powerful prayer and sharing your blessings. Up next, we have another distinguished participant. I would like to present Shri Ino K. Asangba Sangtam, a recipient of Padma Shri, the fifth highest civilian award from the government of India for his contribution in public affairs. He is also the former member of parliament in Lok Sabha. He has represented Nagaland in the Indian parliament for two terms. Currently at present, he is the president of the Baptist Church Trust Association in India since the last 17 years. I now give the time to Ino K. Asangba Sangtam for the prayer of blessings and for the Christmas greetings. Greetings to everyone present for the Seventh Kingdom Leaders Prayer Breakfast hosted by Apostle Reverend Lehi Loho, Im Sung and Reverend Robert Kikon. Thank you for inviting me to this unique prayer program of for unity and blessing. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, as we bow our heads and look up to you with our hearts, bless each one of us who are connected and present here today. I especially pray for unity and blessings for the elders of Nagaland. Lord, thank you for the thrill of life and all the mercies that you give to each one of us day by day. Lord, I pray for all the elderly and infirm and all those who are facing challenges in the stage of their lives, facing physical, mental, and spiritual sufferings. Help them to continue growing in grace. Gracious Father, I pray for those elderly widow and widowers who are now ignored and living without their dear ones to care and love for. I pray for the elderly viewed as unaccounted in the society. Give them the wisdom to know that your grace is, this, in this, uh, is sufficient. Lord, I pray for our elderly who are guardians of our customs, traditions, and memories. Help them to make wise decisions, to have compassion, good judgment, and grant them the patience and kindness to care for those who look upon you, them as guidance, and to see the beauty of Christ in all whom to serve, we serve, and 
we in one another. Bless them with wisdom and experience that our society needs. I pray for the organizers and leaders of the team, the 7KLPP, bless them abundantly so that they may fulfill their purposes here on earth. Precious Lord, there is none like you. All glory, majesty, power, and authority are yours in the past and in present and beyond all time. Be with us, unite and bless each one of us for your kingdom come. I pray this in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And now to enthrill and warm our hearts, we are fortunate and privileged to have with us this morning, Dr. Taka Thumzin Ao, also the former principal of Clark Theological College, who would be bringing a special song to warm the seventh edition of Kingdom's Leader Prayer Breakfast. I hand over the time now to Dr. Taka Temjin, who is joining us live for the special song. Thank you. My dear uh, Reverend Loli Ho Yemsong, thank you for inviting me. And uh, also, I would like to uh, uh, thank uh, the leader of the program, and all the uh, elders who are participants of this program, I would like to uh, bring to all of you Merry Christmas uh, greetings. I uh, want to uh, greet you by singing a song, all hymn, entitled, uh, Thou Didst Leave Thy Throne. Thou didst leave thy throne and thy kingly crown when thou camest to earth for me but in that land's home was the found no wrong for thy hold in a divinity oh come room in my heart for thee. Heaven's arches pray when the angels say, proclaiming thy royal decree. But of lowly birth didst thou come and in great humility, oh, come to my heart, Lord Jesus, there is room in my heart for When the hands shall ring and the angels sing at thy coming to victory, let thy voice call me home, saying, There is room, there is room at my side for thee. My heart shall rejoice, Lord Jesus, when thou come as a coolest for me. Thank you very much. What a blessing. Thank you for blessing us with a beautiful message and song. Up next, I would like to present two distinguished participants for this event. I would like to present Inoli Rusano Vamzo, who is the founder president of Naga Mothers Association, 
She is the lead wife of Lead Vamazo Pasau, who is the former Chief Minister of Nagaland. She also has been the former chairperson of NWC, Naga Women's Commission. At this time, I give uh, the time to Inoli Sano Vamazo for the prayer and the Christmas greetings, which would be followed by Dr. Kanglo Mark, a retired Director of Health and Family Welfare, Government of Nagaland, and also the Executive Member, Nagaland Tribes Council. We are privileged to have them with us this morning, and now I give time to them to take the time one after the other. Hello, everyone. Firstly, my warm greetings to all of you, and an advanced blessed Christmas to each Naga family scattered all across the globe. I would like to express my sincere thanks to the organizers of this very special historic program, which has drawn all of us together to our Lord's presence to worship together. I thank God for inspiring his faithful servants for this great initiative. Let us now pray. Eternal God, our Holy Father, we thank you for your goodness and grand plan for salvation, which you have already accomplished through the death and the resurrection of your dear son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins we receive from you, for healing of all our sicknesses and diseases, and for establishing a new kingdom on earth through the coming of your son, Jesus Christ. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, at this moment, I come before you on behalf of the mothers of Nagaland, thanking you and praying particularly this generation of Joshua's and Esther's, who are our leaders of today and tomorrow. Our people and our society are in great need of good leadership, especially in these times of struggle, strife, doubt, and uncertainty. It is in you alone we can find peace, wisdom, confidence, and certainty. We learned from your word that Joshua was one who was humble and willing to serve the one greater than himself. He was strong and showed tremendous courage despite the huge responsibility assigned to him. He was a man of faith and trust in God, a man of your word and prayer, one who put you first and above all things. We also learned that Esther lived a life of obedience to you, that she was wise enough to seek advice from God-fearing people and followed it. She was bold and courageous in her actions despite her fears. She was a woman of faith with true humility. She was caring, prayerful, and used her wisdom in her dealings. We pray for such women and men of faith and humility to lead our people today. Those who are willing to serve you and our people with honesty and integrity, who are passionate doers of the word of God and who love our people and our land, which you have blessed us with. We pray that you will help them become women and men of faith and trust in you alone, who put you first in everything, be loyal to you and patient enough to wait on your guidance for every decision they make. I pray that you would raise this generation in our land to know you with certainty, that our land will become a beacon of light to those around us. You have placed us in a strategic location being surrounded by people of various cultures and religions who are seeking to know the truth. I pray that you would bless this generation of Nagas and help them to be able to guide them to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. We pray that you would bless each of our homes with your love, joy, and peace as we look forward to celebrating Christmas, which is a time for all of us to remember and be thankful for your goodness in our lives. Help us to celebrate this Christmas meaningfully. For we all, for we ask all these things in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Greetings in the precious name of our Lord 
and Savior Jesus Christ. Let us look to God and prayer. Almighty God, the creator and the sustainer and finisher of our faith, thou art the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and our God. We thank you that we can come to you in this manner. Lord, as we look back, the events happening around us for the last two to three years, we are reminded of the fulfillment of your word, the unprecedented wave of natural calamities and pestilences. During pandemic, even there was restrictions in the place of worship, lots of bereavement, mental depression, yet by your grace at the times we are brought closer to you to seek refuge and protection from you, O oh Lord. Lord, as we look at our society today, there is lots of disunity, ism, lack of concern for the less fortunate, and weaker section and on the God society. We pray for your healings. We pray for your forgiveness from hatred, reconciliation from arrogance, harmonious living from disunity. Lord, as we prepare to celebrate in honor Christmas 2021, we pray that may the message of great joy, peace and harmonious, peace and goodwill dwells among the brethren. Lord, we pray for our younger generations. May your wisdom and understanding guide them to discern between good and evil. May you give them protection in their daily livings. Lord, may our younger generation choose Christ and be the torch bearer of change and our society. May the spirit of Christ and Christmas be upon each and every one. Amen. Merry Christmas. Thank you for the elderly prayer of blessings upon our generation. On the seventh edition of Kingdom's Leader Prayer Breakfast, we are privileged not only to have the elderly veteran leaders from our state, but also from beyond. On the seventh edition, we are so honored to have with us this morning, the Reverend, the Honorable Fred Nile, a member of Legislative Council, also the Deputy Chair, Privileges Committee, the Parliamentary Leader, Christian Democratic Party, all the way from New South Wales Parliament House, Sydney, Australia, who would be bringing the Christmas greetings and blessings for us. I would also like to highlight that he is one of the oldest, longest serving parliamentarian in Australia for the last 37 years. He is also the founder and president of the Christian Democratic Party. He is well known for his Judeo-Christian strong and has addressed several parliaments, including the uh, House of Parliament in Israel. Many Christian political leaders come to him as spiritual guidance and advice, and we are also honored 
to present and say that he is also the spiritual mentor of the founder of Kingdom's Leader Prayer Breakfast, Apostle Reverend Lulihu Yimsong. At this time, I'm honored and privileged to give the time to the Reverend, the Honorable Fred Nile, all the way from New South Wales Parliament House for the blessings and the Christmas greetings. My wife, Savannah, and I bring greetings and blessings to all of you who are attending the Nagaland Prayer Breakfast today. I want to thank Pastor Yim Chang for inviting me to speak uh, with you and to share my experiences in Nagaland back in December 2018. Pastor Yim Chang was instrumental in coordinating our visit to Nagaland by the invitation of the Premier and the Chief Minister of Nagaland. I would like to take this opportunity to announce that Savannah and I have nominated Pastor Yim Sun to be the Christian Democratic Party Chaplain for 2022. He's been a great help for us in leading in prayer and his ministry in Nagaland as well as Australia. I was the honoured guest speaker at a number of important events in Nagaland, such as the Festival of Festivals, known as the 19th Hornville Festival, which was held at the Naga Heritage Village, Kasana, from the 1st of December to the 10th of December, 2018. Savannah and I were also invited to the huge Baptist church in Nagaland, which seats 5,000 people. We had a wonderful time with all the Christians of Nagaland. We thank God for the opportunity uh, to meet with them and to share with them. As Christmas approaches, the people reflect how the birth of Jesus Christ has changed our world forever. The people of Nagaland have experienced the change which transformed their country into a, a ongoing Christian nation, despite being flanked by Hindu and Muslim nations. And despite its violent struggle with India, I am humbled by the enormous faith of the Naga people in Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Saviour, and wish them a very blessed and holy Christmas. Savannah and I and our prayer on Eagle's Wings group will continue to pray for Isaiah 19 Highway. We continue through Nagaland as God's appointed time for our Lord Jesus Christ to return to Jerusalem. That God may raise up more kingdom leaders in every place in society. That God will guide the, the leaders of Nagaland and especially the young people. We give thanks for the church in Nagaland that they will stand united and be a beacon of love and hope for all the people of Nagaland. May God bless Nagaland and its people. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. The Kingdom's Leaders Prayer Breakfast exists to reach out to the leaders of the different mountains of influence. I would like to present two distinguished prominent participants. We have with us this morning privileged to have Dr. D.K. Zilian a retired chief conservator of forest and member of Naga Hoho, and also followed by Professor Talit Suba Alinger, a retired director, school education, and advisor of Union Evangelical Students of India. At this time, I give the time for them to take the time one after the other. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior, I take this privilege to bring 
to all of those who are standing here at one Christmas prayer fellowship, the Christmas meeting. May the living God bless this prayer fellowship to bring glory and honor to your name, to his name. 700 BC, year before Jesus was born, the prophet Micah said, Jesus will be born in Bethlehem, Judea, Micah 5, 2. In the time of Jesus' birth, Joseph and Mary were living in the Nazareth, which is north of the Palestine. At that time, the, the, the great king, Roman king Augustus Caesar, he has declared, would carry out censor in the whole of this Roman Empire. His intention was to get Texas. At that moment, Joseph and Mary were descendants of David. They have to go to Bethlehem, Judah. That fulfilled the time for Jesus' birth as prophecy in Micah 5.2. Micah 5.2. In the Gospel of Luke chapter 2, verse 8 to 10, during the darkest hour of the night, the angel appeared to the, to the shepherd in Bethlehem. Fear not, I bring good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. A savior is born, wrapped in the swaddling cloth to die for us, living in a manger, no home. By this announcement, heaven rejoice, heavenly choir singing, glory to God in the highest, peace, good will towards men. Christmas, though the darkest hour, yet the greatest light from heaven, the highest glory, the greatest peace, and the greatest good will for whom, for all people, we the Nagas are included. This is why we are here this morning. <clears throat> for the Nagas, during 19th 1970 to 1980, the Nagas passes through the darkest hour. Indian declare emergency. Nagaland passes through repeated presidential rule. Army operations were intensive, but the Naga underground response were more repulsive. At, at that time, a call was made to form the Naga Elder Forum, the Naga Hoho. The Naga Ho was called to prepare a white paper for the Naga integration. The story city of the Naga integration to know the Naga area. Naga Ho Ho came up with a white paper for Naga integration. This was discussed by all tribes in all the region. Finally, the white paper was passed by the Naga Tribal Assembly in Senapati. Here we clearly see the finger of God who has ordained the, the then Nagaland government and the Naga Hoho. The white paper came out clearly with the benchmark of the Naga area. The following Naga paper. See in the map. What? Government of India recognized the historic city of the Naga Nation and the present area. The UNPO recognized the Naga Nation as unrepresented represented nation. When the United Nations recognized, then the Naga, United Nations recognized the Naga Nation as a unrepresented nation. From 2007 to 2014, formal talk continued but oftentimes disrupted due to the frequent changes in the government of India. Finally, BJP government came in on the 3rd August 2015. Government of India declared framework agreement with the Naga NSM IM. Prime Minister Narendra Modi declared into the whole world the longest revolutionary movement in Asia had been solved. Now awaiting for the Naga to have the Naga sovereignty fund. For my beloved Nagas, the most tiny Naga nation on the north, surrounded by communist China, on the east, surrounded by the Buddhist Myanmar, on the, on the south, surrounded by the Muslim Bangladesh, on the west, surrounded by the Indian Indo idol worshiper, whom pointed out this map to us, glow in the map.
1977 years ago, Claudius Ptolemy, a Greek philosopher and a geographer, he pointed out the Naga area in 10 into 40 window in the globe, given the Naga area as the Naga realm, which meant the number of Naga tribe living in that area. In 9, 675 AD, 1,373 years ago, Yun Chiang, the Chinese pilgrim, stayed in Assam for 15 years. The location of the exact, uh, the exact position he has mentioned, area east, Brahmaputra to Chinwin River, the tribe barbaric people, descendant akin to Man people, West Chinese in their culture. 1826 AD, Treaty of India, Yandabu by British India and British Burma, Naga area was left out. 1863 AD, British government declared the Naga area buffer zone to allow the Naga to exterminate themselves. Map 3, Map 3. Eighteen ninety-eight, friends from Mikir Hills and Rima Hill to Sibsagar in Assam, Map Four. In the light of all this historical fact, the prophet Isaiah said in Isaiah fifty-one, "Look into your history and see into the X seventeen forty-six." God has said, scattered the people in that boundary. Now I, D.K. Jelang, as an senior Naga elders, humbly place this record before you, both in the Old Testament, from the Old Testament, New Testament, the present context. I humbly request to remember our history. Don't forget your history. Meditate on the past and remember the Bible, Psalm 32. Sing a new, Psalm 32, verse 3 to 12. Sing a new song. Let all the earth fear the Lord, for he has spoken and it was done. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to nothing, the desire of the people to none effect. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. In this respect, blessed is the name whose God is Lord and the people whom he has chosen. Nagaland, Nagaland for Christ. Psalm 32, verse, verse 12. Sing a new song. Let all the earth fear the Lord, for he has spoken and it was done. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to nothing, the desire of the people to none effect. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. In this respect, blessed is the name whose God is Lord and the people whom he has chosen. Nagaland, Nagaland for Christ. Psalm 32, verse, verse 12 onwards. I am sitting on the throne in heaven to deliver you. Those the Naga has predestinated the Naga nation. Nation, let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, in the blessed name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, we come to the throne of grace. We thank you. You have given a wonderful historical record which has been sown into us now, and which has been even remind us from the Bible. We have read through, we have, we have listened to this, and we come into your throne of grace. Be merciful unto us. Naga, let the baby of the, let the baby of Christmas who is born in Bethlehem, who is now sitting in the throne of grace, who is coming back to rule in this world for a thousand years and then to eternity. Let his mercy, O oh Lord, be upon us according to what we hope for. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the old Naga order say, Amen. Up next, we have Professor Talit Subha Linger. 
retired director, school education and advisor, Union Evangelical Students of India. I give time to him now for the prayer and for the Christmas greetings. Let us look to God in prayer. Our loving Heavenly Father, I am deeply grateful to you for giving me this privilege to pray for all Naka upcoming generations during this Christmas season. As we all wait anxiously for the celebration of the most important day in human history, the Christmas, I, as an elder, do pray for your special work of grace among all upcoming members in Nagaland. May you graciously work amongst them that those of them who have been born again in Christ by your mercy may become more mature and effective that they may be used by you as great instruments for your glory and for the blessing of many people in our human history. Oh, loving Heavenly Father, I also do pray for the upcoming members who are still in the darkness of sin. May you graciously work amongst to them during these days that they may also come under deep feeling of repentance that they also may become thoroughly repented of their sins and that they also may receive the Lord Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior. Therefore, Father, may these days, as we wait for the Christmas day, Father, during all these days, may you, in a very special way, work amongst Naka upcoming generation members. I offer this prayer, Father, in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, sir, for the prayer of blessings. Up next, I am privileged to introduce the next distinguished and prominent participant. I grew up fondly calling him as uncle, and so in him, a godly leader and a dynamic leader. I present to you for this, the next distinguished and prominent participant, Ino Kemo Lota, who is the former member of parliament, Rajya Sabha, for two terms, in the year 1978 to 80, and also in 1989 to 92. He is 81 years old, and we are grateful and privileged to have with us, with him, this morning joining us live. I give time to him now for the blessings and for the Christmas greetings. Thank you, Kingdom leaders, organizers. Greetings to all the viewers and participants in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I like to read a few verses from the Bible. My favorite verse is from John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Who is the Son of God? Here we find in Luke chapter 2, verse 10 onwards, I read, And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. 
he is the son of God and he is the prince of peace. We all, especially in Nagaland, are craving, waiting for peace, political settlement between our Naga leaders and the government of India. Peace, settlement, that's what we need today. And we must continue to pray to God, our Heavenly Father, that this political settlement will be resolved. Christmas is a time of joy and happiness for families, for the church, for the congregations for the people, friends, and relatives. But above all, today in Nagaland, we need peace. This political settlement must come. We must pray. Pray with repentance, especially the elders, the leaders of Naga people. We have done so many things wrong. We have shed so many blood. No more blood shed. No more in Nagaland. There should be no more blood shed. Now, we have for the young people. Today, many young people are complaining that there is no employment. It is true. In government fields or offices, there is no employment. Employment are saturated. But in the field of God, our Heavenly Father, there is enough employment facilities. God wants us to serve Him. God wants our people to proclaim the gospel. My desire is that our Naga young people should rise and join the soldier of Christ and go all over the world. In the meantime, I feel strongly that our Naga people, our Naga Christian soldiers should spread out, spread out within our country to win India for Christ. India is one country who is mentioned in the Bible, India. I think there is a purpose. God has a purpose for mentioning India in the Bible. We must rise up. Our young people must enroll themselves in the army of Christ and win in there for Christ and spread out to our neighboring countries to spread the good news, the gospel to all those who are still living in darkness. That's my strong desire and prayer. May God bless us. May God bless our political leaders of all factions. We are sorry, we have too many factions. Still then, come together, unite, unite, and bring this solution. In Jesus' name, I greet all of you with a happy Merry Christmas and wish you all the best. God bless Nagaland. Amen. Thank you, sir, for the timely and the much needed prayer. It gives me immense the privilege to introduce the next prominent participant, Inoli Atrongla Saochang. And she happens to be the first one to come into the Zoom room this morning, for which we are grateful and privileged to have with her this morning in the seventh edition of Kingdom's Leaders Prayer Breakfast. She is a retired OSD school education, and she is the lady wife of Inolate Sao Chang, a former 
Minister. I now give the time to Inoli Atrong La Sao Chang for the Christmas greetings and for the prayer. Praise the Lord. Good morning to you all. Brothers and sisters, respected participants, and the leaders of this kingdom, the organizers in Christ. I'm very thankful to our God, our Creator, and to the organizers for inviting me to take part you pray for the upcoming generations. Taking this occasion, I also want to wish I, along with my family and my people, in advance, I want to wish you a very blessed and spiritual Christmas. So let us look to God, uniting our heart in pray. Our Heavenly Father, I thank you and praise your name for giving me this privilege to pray for our coming generation. Lord, at this time, I bring all our young people to the throne of grace for your direction and for your blessings for their present and future lives. Wherever they may be today, they may be in and around and outside of the country. Lord, bless them wherever they may be. Bless them in their studies. Bless them in their research works. Bless them in their different trainings. Lord, and let them realize that God alone can give them success, fill them wisdom from above and spirit feel, spirit feel life that they will understand that God alone can give them success in their life. That the Bible says God can give them head and not tail, that they will be above and not below. Hallelujah, we praise your name. We pray, Lord, that they will glorify your name through their talents, through their productivity, and through their results. They will bring good name to their people, to their parents, and to God at last. So, Lord, Continue to bless them. In the name of Jesus, I speak abundant blessings over our young people. Loving Father, I also pray for our coming generation, the future of our societies, that they will choose peace over violence, that they will work and stand on it. As the Bible says, Peacemakers will be called the children of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We also pray, Lord, and that those who are unfortunate or young boys and girls, they become victims of drugs, alcohol, and those who are involved in antisocial activities. I pray that our merciful God will touch them and then kill their broken lives. And Lord, that the parents and societies, those who are in tears and broken hearted, Lord, let them be relieved from above that their children are touched by God and healed by God. So in the name of Jesus, I speak total deliverance and restoration over their lives. 
I also pray, Lord, and that our upcoming generation, the future of our society, that they will, wherever they may be, Lord, wherever there is confusion, there is strife, where there is hardships and conflicts, the Almighty God will strengthen them. Almighty God will also give them more courage to our Yeshua's and Easter generations so that they will be able to stand raised to the occasion to stand in the gap. I commit all our young people into the mighty hands of God that they will become more God-fearing, more prosperous, and make their generation a golden generation. I pray all these things with much thanksgiving in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. What a blessing. Thank you for sharing the, uh, the elderly prayer of blessings for us. Up next, I would like to give time now to Reverend Dr. Vikenu, the chairman of Naga Archives Research Center for the Christmas greetings and prayer. Okay, network glitch over there. We move on to the next one. I would now call upon to two prominent uh, participants again in this the distinguished seven edition of Kingdom's Leader Prayer Breakfast. I now give time to Inoli Easter Chishisu, uh, who is the president of Council of Nagalim Churches, and also the lady wife of late Ino Isaac Chishisu, chairman and SCN GPRN the collective leadership member and the CNT GPRN. We are privileged to have her with us this morning who would be giving the Christmas greetings and the elderly prayer of blessings. Next would be followed by General Retard Kinosele M. Kehyo, President, Naga National Council. It is a privilege for us to have them in the seventh edition of Kingdom's Leader Prayer Breakfast. I now give the time for them to take one after the other. Today, our generation are coming to an end. But along with Paul, we can quote, We are trouble on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down but not destroyed. <clears throat> we have continued to shoulder our responsibilities socially and spiritually to date. And today we leave a challenge for our younger generation to carry it forward from now on till the end. With the advent 
of Christmas and New Year, I pray good health upon one and all to experience the grace of our Almighty and renew our faith in Him once again. God bless you all. Kukunalim. The best are yet to come. What a joy and a privilege to introduce the next distinguished participant. I now give the time to you know, Dr. Sir Rosalie Lizichu, the former Chief Minister of Nagaland and the present President of Naga People's Friend. He is 85 years old, healthy and hearty to join us this morning to give us the Christmas greetings and also share with us the elderly prayer of blessings. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in Nagaland as well as overseas, I bring Christmas greetings to all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I thank God for getting this opportunity. And I also thank Apostle Reverend Lulihu Yimson for organizing this program under Kingdom Leaders Prayer Breakfast. I want to read a Bible passage taken from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, and verses 9 to 12. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. Verse 9. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother. They opened their treasures and presented unto him gifts gold and frankincense and myrrh, and been warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod. They departed unto their own country another way. Friends, Christmas comes once a year, and when it comes, it brings new hopes and aspirations. This is about, therefore, the season to prepare our mind, our hearts, to welcome the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, to allow him to enter into our heart with new hopes and aspirations. I say a prayer. Almighty God, our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful morning we thank you for you have brought us together in spirit under the program of Kingdom Leaders Prayer Breakfast. Us together in spirit under the program of Kingdom Leaders Prayer Breakfast. Father, we pray that you will be with us at this hour. And we pray that you will help each one of us to give ourselves to know more about your love. Oh, Naga people, many people have gone astray from thy presence, from thy sight. We do not know where we are heading for. 
Some people have even tread upon the dangerous ground without knowing where they are heading for. Father, when the Israelites sin against you, you turn your face and they suffer untold miseries as slaves in the hand of the enemies. Not once, but many times. But every time when they repent and come back, you always forgive them with your love, unending love. Father, we pray that uh, you will look unto us again. We pray that you will listen to the prayers of our church leaders, our believers who have been praying for the Nagas day and night ceaselessly on their knee. We pray that you will listen to them ceaselessly on their knee. We pray that you will listen to them and you will make us to understand, to come back to you. Father, we thank thee for our brothers, overseas brothers and sisters. Many of them are in your service. Some of them may be in other professions, but those who are in your service, we pray that you use them mightily. And others also, we pray that you use them so that they will uh, spread the gospel. We are not worthy to call ourselves a Christian, word, but Father, we pray that you will forgive each one of us so that we can come back to you with repentance. I pray all these things in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Merry Christmas. Thank you, sir. We are truly blessed by your elderly prayer of blessings. Next, I am privileged to present and introduce the next prominent participant for this edition. Inoli Seno Vihenyo, the wife of late Reverend Deo Vihenyo. She is also the recipient of Senior Citizens Award in the year 2019. And she is also the Sunday School teacher of uh, the founder of this Kingdom Leader Prayer Breakfast, Apostle Luliu Yim Sung. At this time, to entrust us again and warm our hearts, I now give the time to Inoli Seno Vihinyo, who will be rendering a special song, The Babe in the Manger. This Christmas greeting comes to you from Nagaland. The song I'm going to sing is entitled, The Babe in the Manger. <laughs> Oh, 
blessed by the beautiful song and the voice and the message the wonderful message through the song we are able to connect back again so i now give the time to inoli easter chishisu who will be bringing the christmas greetings and the elderly prayer of blessings praise the lord praise the lord Praise the Lord. Ankas Prutri Ananda Malik Chihova. Abna do Akas Tri Putri Tri Abna He Malikashe. Abra Abna Laga Bachakandu. Abna Laga Chiran Shinapanajana Nakidishe. Ito to Hule Abna Mon Trin Shina Kam Kurbule Karakurbule in Deha Ashe. Only be Manu can do a lay. Open a lot of monto, it to do Nabisan Gena. Old Tibilla Kushimonto, it to Padhe Janta Gershe. A show, a me can do a lay. Open a lot of monto, his up the Karakurbola and a paranin day. A me can lava solution of the bay, it in China, and a bull and a paraganite Gershe. As you lava did you can do a lay. Kim can do to Korashe, it to Abnahis and Yashi. Oi, is sure Abnahi Morum Kurigana, I can go day, Taklebi, it be Kamadibi. Yun do, is sure I can hear Abnamon Jutihi, Karakurbola, Napa Shevole, New Generation Majeti, Abna Uyukura Manu, Abnamon Jutisapi, Nishin Tanibole. A row is shop like a compost with a hollow brick and a he. Abna lago, who dig an up, Abna he keep a brick in a brick of wine. It to his shop the little gribble of paraman, Abna he just quit the day, the manasse. Can you make a show head there? A little lago monto to Abna Monjuko Bodana Pari. It to you make a show, Abna lago monto his up the caracurola paraman. New leader, new generation, Majeti. Abna he choose good to be. Monsas Nishna, Joshua Nishna, David Nishna, Isho, Abna Mon Jude, Abna Laga Manu, Nakalam for Kashnish Nimite, Karakurbola Paramano, 
Chus kul te bibla manyashe. Alolo ge praise the law. Mata hina hojana. Ma ki ma chetu hali bi. If to nishna. Kuyi na kuri kena. Man tango kuyi kena. Chet tango kuyi kena apna. Nam te kano kurbo le para. Ma ki kan ma chetu hali bi. Apna chus kul te bibla manyashe. Isho aro apna mon truti hi kano kuri kena. Apna jesukita. And second coming. Ah, tam te. Look, we're going to par with him. The issue, we're to be to be a cast to be. We lost the connection again, but thank you so much for the wonderful prayer, the elderly prayer of blessings for us. We have just one more to go, and we have saved the best for the last and uh, it is a proud moment to introduce the next veteran leader a prominent and distinguished participant for the seventh edition of kingdom's leaders prayer breakfast it gives me immense joy and privilege to uh, present you know dr S. jamir a recipient of patma bhushan former cm of nagaland former governor of goa maharashtra Gujarat and Odisha. He is 90 years old today and uh, we are so privileged to have. I now give the time to him for the Christmas greetings and the prayer of elderly blessings for us all. Dear friends, at the outset, may I take this opportunity to send greetings to all of you. As you know, Christmas comes but once in a year. And this is very precious for all the Christians. And on this day, all over the world in Christendom, people will be worshiping the Savior of the Lord. In this opportunity, I would like to urge upon the youth of Nagaland in particular to remember your Creator in their youth. We should remember that the beautiful land in which we live is groaning under darkness for the last several decades. But today, at this crucial moment, to the efforts of those people who have goodwill for the people of Nagaland, they have been trying to find a new dawn of peace, unity, and prosperity of this beautiful land. At this great juncture, the greatest challenge for the Jews of Nagaland is to commit themselves fully and wholly in the service of the people and to design the future of Nagaland in a way that it could compete with the greatest of the world and they could stand as equals with the people of the world. It is my sincere hope that the younger generation of Navaj people will try to forget the past and fashion the future by availing the present moment. The present is yours. The future is also yours. And therefore, with unity, with determination, with commitment, try to design Nagaland and put a proper shape in a way that it can be a pride, not only for the people of India, but for the whole world. A small land like Nagaland that people should have the will to survive, that people should have the will to 
but surpass and that people should have the will to carry out the challenges with courage and with determination. On this Christmas season, the young generation should rejuvenate their mind, their soul, and try to build up a new dawn of prosperity, love, unity, and harmony, so that the Naga people could live as a free people in a Christian community and as a human being. And they should no longer be enslaved by gun culture, but they should be the civil elements of the goodwill which we bring from the God our Savior. May God bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for your word of encouragement, blessings, and also the Christmas greetings. Coming to an end. Time for the For the benediction, at this time, I would like to give time to Reverend Apostle Lulihu Yimsong, all the way from Sydney, Australia, who is joining us live to take this time. Can't hear. Uh, Reverend Yim Song, if you can kindly unmute your audio, your mic, we cannot hear you. Reverend Yim Song, if you can kindly unmute your mic. Can you hear me now? Yes, we are the All right. 
did you hear anything that I said before, or you nothing was there? Nothing, nothing can begin now. Can start. Right from the beginning, okay? All right. A big thank you to each and every elder who have taken part in this historic program. I'm over the moon. I'm just so excited, super excited, because it is God who has done this. To God be the glory. This is not the end of the programs. It's just a continuation of what we're going to be doing in the future. Come January, February, we're coming back to you with a program that's unique. And I encourage all of you to keep this program in your personal prayer because we have seen the open heaven already. We're going to take this time to pray a special prayer of blessings on our elders. Some of our elders are in the hospital and because of they couldn't make it to the program, we're going to pray for God's healing. We're going to pray for God's strength and wisdom to come upon all the elders who are here and all the elders of Nagaland and the elders who will be joining us in the future in different programs. She will look to God in prayer. Hallelujah. God, our Heavenly Father, the creator of the universe, we worship you. We exalt you. Lord, you have given us this wonderful program today. You initiated it for us. We are just instruments. We carry it on because you told us to do. And today we have received these elderly blessings from different elders of Nagaland, including Australia, in Yeshua's name. And I pray, Lord, that you would give them good health and long life, wisdom, understanding, discernment, oh God, to every elder who have taken part today. And for those who are aligned with them, whether family, siblings, government, church, whatever connection they are aligned with, I pray, God, that you will bless them. And for every elder who are not feeling well and were in a hospital or were not feeling well and staying at home, we pray for your healing hand to come and touch them in Jesus' mighty name. I plead the blood of the Lamb to protect every elder in Nagaland in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that you will continue to give God the wisdom to nurture the upcoming generation of Joshua's and Esther's in Nagaland and even different parts of the world for your glory. What can we say? We just have to say thank you, Daddy, for giving us this wonderful time of fellowship. Lord, you will create an environment time where we will come together face to face and have this meeting together in a wider way, in a more marvelous way, all for your glory. We well, thank you. And we give the glory for all that you have done today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, back to Nune, Elder Nune. Thank you, Reverend, for the special prayer of blessing for the elders. As we conclude the seventh edition of Kingdom's Prayer uh, Leaders Breakfast, I would like to thank everyone who have joined in live in this historic event. I would also like to thank particularly the elders who took the time to be part of this historic event. We value and we look forward for your blessings. And as we receive, it is a privilege for us to be a recipient of the elderly blessings upon us for this present generation and also for the generations to come. As we conclude, I just want to highlight that Kingdom's Leader Prayer Breakfast tries, has its mission to reach out to the seven mountains of influence, bringing the leaders from different influences of mountain of influence to bring a platform where we, as in prayer breakfast, bring them together for a neutral, peaceful acceptance and inclusive environment where they can meet, fellowship, connect, to work together in the kingdom leadership highway of unity and blessings. As we close, I want to echo back the very words that to God be the glory. It is God who has helped us come to this, enable to achieve uh, this kingdom leaders prayer breakfast. May God bless every participant. May God bless everyone who have joined. May the Lord bless each one of us. Thank you one and all.